Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lachlan and this is my booktube. Today's video is something that I haven't done before. I wanted to kind of mix it up a little bit. I normally do like a TBR video. I didn't do one last month because I had COVID, but I'm all better now. So this is going to be like a monthly reading resets vlog, if that makes any sense. So we're going to go through my TBR. We're going to reorganize some of my bookshelves because some of them are just really, really bad and I don't want to do it all at once. So we're just going to do a little bit at a time in these type vlogs. I also want to organize my desk area. So I'm going to clean that up a little bit. So it's just going to be like kind of like a reading vlog, but I'm not actually going to be reading in this vlog. I know everyone's doing like a monthly reset vlogs. And so I came up with reading reset, which I think is perfect for what I am like wanting to do. And it's basically just going to be like me cleaning up my space a little bit and then a bookshelf reorganization, TBR and things like that. So if you're interested, keep watching, but I'm going to start picking up my desk and then we're going to go reorganize some shelves together and then we'll go through my TBR. So all these books here, I basically need to take them upstairs to my library. So I'm gonna move them all upstairs. It has to be done because I just haven't moved these, these books. So let's do that. Actually, these are all books that I'm going to unhaul. I'm gonna keep these here for now. Okay, and then these I also think I want to keep down here. Um, I do need to dust my desk as well. And all these books I need to move. Okay, so we finished cleaning up my desk. It didn't take very long and it feels a lot better just being in the space already. Um, I wanted to go through quickly before we go and reorganize some of my shelves, um, the books that I'm going to unhaul. So <laughs> these have been down here on my desk for quite some time and I've actually been propping my laptop on top of them and they just I just need to unhaul them. Um, so first we have Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. I completely forgot to unhaul this in my last book unhaul. So I'm going to take this to half price or sell it online. I'm not really sure yet, but I will definitely get rid of this. This one wasn't for me. I DNF like in the first 75 pages. I just like wasn't a fan. And then we have Full Tilt by Emma Scott. This one I did annotate a little bit. No, did I write in it? I don't even know if I wrote in it, but I do have like some tabs. I did enjoy it, but I really, really disliked the second book, which is all in. I enjoyed this one enough to like keep it on my shelves, but because of how much I disliked all in, it just kind of like tainted this book for me. And I don't see myself ever gravitating towards it. And I don't even really like want it on my shelves anymore because of how much I disliked the second book. So we're just gonna get rid of this. Next up is Waking Olivia. Actually, you know what? I don't know. I'm keeping this. I actually liked Waking Olivia. I think it just happened to be in this pile and I just, I don't know, I'm, I'm not getting rid of that because I actually did like it. I wasn't obsessed, but it was a good book. Okay, next up is Loveless by Alice Oseman. I thought I was going to love this book. I thought I was going to be obsessed. It's not that I don't think YA romance is good and cute and wholesome. I just don't enjoy it like I would have if I was like younger. And there were just some problems that I had. There were some issues I had this, with this book. 
and I don't specifically remember what they are because it's been a long time since I picked this up. It's been like at least five or six months. So, um, yeah, and I don't know if I made any notes. I definitely apparently didn't make any mental notes as to why I didn't like it. But yeah, it just was like rubbing me the wrong way in, in some spaces. And I love the cover. I'm just sad that I didn't love it. Like, I'm like really sad I didn't love this. Next up is To All the Boys I've Loved Before. I read this for, I think it was like a 24-hour readathon. I can't remember. I definitely read it on reading sprints. I did enjoy it. Like, it was a fun time. I think I gave it three stars. But it's just not anything that like, I'm gonna I'm not gonna continue the series and I'm I don't know it didn't really leave a lasting impression on me I think it's cute and everything and I'll probably watch the movie on Netflix but yeah I just don't really need this on my shelves anymore next up is today tonight tomorrow I just like didn't I didn't love this this is a YA romance so it, there's kind of like a theme honestly because like this is YA this is YA romance and then also this is YA romance. I just find it I, I don't know I just found this to be really boring. I read this for a reading vlog so I think I have like my thoughts on this book in another video so I'm not gonna like rehash it but it just didn't hit for me. This is a rivals to friends to lovers I think. I'm not I'm not really sure. They, they're in high school and I started tabbing it and then I just kind of like stopped because I was like not not into it. I wasn't feeling it. Next up is The Roommate by Rosie Dannon. This was one, I think I DNF this. I honestly, I don't remember if I finished it. I might have finished it. Like I can't remember. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. It did not, I just don't need to have this on my shelf. I think I DNF'd it. I don't know. I love the cover and I'm really sad that I don't love the book because I do love the cover, but this one just didn't didn't do anything for me um and next this is really sad because I really wanted to love this but The Kingmaker by Kennedy Ryan I love Real by Kennedy Ryan which is another romance by her but this one there was something about it that just I don't know there was a lot of plots so I will say like the romance wasn't in the beginning as heavy but I did finish this and it just wasn't very memorable for me. I struggled with it like the entire time and I ended up having to pick it up on audio because I was just like struggling. I think I was also like in a reading slump or something at the time, but like it is a good book. The chapter titles are really pretty. It is a good book, but it's just, I don't know. I'm not gonna pick up the second one. I do own the second one, so I'll probably unhaul that one too. It sucks because like I know that these are amazing books and some of my friends like adore these books, give them five stars, and they're all-time favorites. But for me, um, it's just something that I have to be like real with myself and I'm just like not, I'm not ever gonna pick any of these up again or give them second chances. So that's the unhaul and let's go reorganize some of my shelves. I'm kind of nervous because my shelves are a complete mess and I'm gonna try to not get like too overwhelmed. I'm just gonna do like a couple and then call it a day because I can't spend all day reorganizing them. But we're gonna do it enough to where I feel better if that makes any sense. Okay, my method to this madness is I'm just gonna pick a shelf that bothers me the most. I need to reshelve these. I'm just gonna put them on the shelf. Um, I need to read Kingdom of Ash. It might end up being on my September TBR. So the Crescent City shelf here, I don't know if you can see it, but it's been bothering me because it's just, it's not organized. Like this is not how I want my Crescent City shelf. So we're gonna fix it. I actually wanna give Crescent City like its own big shelf but I'm just gonna hold off on that for now. I'll probably wait until the third book is released and then I'll give it like a whole shelf. But let's fix this one up. I'm in the business of misery. Let's take it from the top. She's got a body like an hourglass. It's ticking like a clock. It's a matter of time before we all run out. When I thought he was mine, she caught him by the mouth. I waited a long month. She finally set him free. I told him I couldn't lie. He was the only one for me. Two weeks we caught on fire. She's got it out for me, but I wear the biggest smile. Just feel so 
second chances, they don't ever matter, people never change. Once a whore, you're nothing more, I'm sorry, that'll never change. And about forgiveness, we're both supposed to have a shame. Sorry, honey, but I pass it Okay, I am actually so in love with how this shelf turned out because it fits every Crescent City book that I own perfectly. So as soon as the third book comes out, I'm definitely gonna have to expand to a bigger shelf, but oh my god. And it's not ideal, like I pref I would prefer having one facing out, like one of the books facing out because the covers are so pretty, but for now this is what we have and I really like how it turned out. So let's pick another shelf to get looking pretty and then we'll go through my TBR. Okay, I'm kneeling down. I don't know how well you can see it, but this shelf, um, I'm just going to add, this is kind of like dark romance, so I'm just gonna add a few books here since I have some room. These are my Crescent City, the, it's the, I don't know what you call these, box set things. I'm gonna keep these because they're really pretty, but I'm just gonna move them to a different shelf. So I liked how that dark romance shelf turned out. Not all those books were dark romance, but whatever. I'm just going to quickly add some books to this shelf. This is my Lauren Asher shelf, but it's not completely full. So she has room for like two or three more books. Okay, that's kind of cute because it's more of like a colorful shelf. So I put Sea of Ruin and then The Right Move, which Bessie Rachel got those for me for my birthday. Let's do another shelf. I'm feeling kind of like motivated. Okay, this shelf right here is kind of discombobulated. I have a fantasy book. I think this is YA fantasy. This is Fourth Wing. So I recently got some copies of Devil's Night that I want to add here, so let's do that. Okay, I love, I love how this looks. I have my Mystic Box of Kill Switch and Hideaway here, and then the rest of the Devil's Knights, and then here I have two Sophie Lords. So this is basically all Penelope Douglas except for the books on the very end. So this is Rena Kent, and then this is Sophie Lark. But yeah, this looks, this looks great. Then right below that shelf, I have some books stacked up here. I'm gonna put Misconduct on top of my Devil's Night so that I can remember to read it because I haven't even tried reading it yet and I don't want to unhaul it before I, I at least try to read it. So I have these that are all like YA fantasy and I need to find a shelf for them. And then I have just like random stuff here. I have like this vampire blood candle. It barely has anything left so I'm actually gonna use the rest of this up this weekend so that I can get rid of it and I have more vampire blood candles so we need to use the last of this. And then these are tarot cards from Runix's special edition box so I'm just going to put it with my Runix book.
Okay, my shelves are by no means perfect, but I didn't really intend to make them perfect today in this video. I kind of want it to be like a process instead of me waiting until everything is a horrible mess and then I do it all at once because it's so overwhelming that way. But I feel so much better already just having a couple shelves like redone. It feels so much better. Um, so now I'm going to go through my shelves and go through the books that I haven't read yet and kind of see like what I'm in the mood for for September and we're gonna make my September TBR. Um, I still need to do the voting for my book club pick for Patreon so I will probably just like insert at the end of this video whatever gets voted for for that but yeah so I'm gonna go through my shelves pick up some books that I kind of in the mood for and we're just gonna make a September hopeful list. Okay, I have a good little book stack going for my September TBR, so let's go through it. First up, I want to mention the book that's not physical. So I really want to read The Fear of Letting Go by Lady Benight 87 This is a Germani fan fiction, so I'm putting this on my September TBR. And I don't know if I have a buddy read with Melody and Hannah in September or if it's October. September? I think it's October, so maybe I don't include that. <laughs> but if I have a buddy read with them, it would be Breath Mint and Battle Scars. Now we can talk about the physical books that I grabbed off my shelves that I really want to read. This is the second edition to the Eternal Sailor Moon. It's like a special edition Sailor Moon manga. And I read the first one, or I reread the first one months ago, and I really want to get to the second one. This copy is stunning, but yeah, they are a bit longer, so it's it takes me a little bit longer to get through them. And then next up is Sea of Ruin by Pam Godwin. I don't know if this is going to actually be the book club pick, but I still really want to read this. I really want to get to this um, this year because I've never read a Pam Godwin book. But yeah, I really want to get to this because I've heard amazing things. I've heard it's like a spicy Pirates of the Caribbean type thing. I mean, the cover is stunning. Also, I recently watched the live action Little Mermaid and I am, when I tell you, obsessed with that movie. It's a new all-time favorite. So yeah, anything like water ship related, I'm like, I just, I want to read it. Okay, next up is a buddy read with my friend Rachel and this is The Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. I've heard great things. I'm really excited. Rachel's really excited. I don't know much about it. I've heard that it's like slow paced, kind of slow. Um, I'm not really sure, but cover is stunning. Next up, since I'm in my fantasy girl era, we have Sarah J Mass to thank for that because I've been rereading the Throne of Glass series and it gets me in a huge reading mood. Um, Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. This is the Owl Crate edition, I believe. It is signed. I really hope that I love this because it's really popular right now and everyone's been loving it. And next up is The Reaper by Runix. I have been, I need to read the second book. I read the first one last year and I really liked it. I want to actually reread the first one. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. I might just like read like a recap or something online, but I do want to get to this. This is the second book in the Dark Verse series. I love this author so much. So yeah, I want to read this series. I, I think I own all the books except for the, the last one, but it's on my goal this year to read the rest of this entire series. We'll see if we get to that. Next up is a TBR veteran and that is The Frat Boy. I know I keep putting this on my TBR and I know I keep not reading it, but I'm just going to add it on there <laughs> one more time for the sake of, for the sake of, I don't know what. So this was released this year and I just, I really want to read it. They make adult film together. That's the gist and it's supposed to be extremely spicy and hopefully if I get in the mood for something like that I'll just pick this up. And we have one more book <laughs> that I am going to put on my September TBR. I have no idea if I'm going to get to these because in June and July I was in like the biggest reading slump and then August like I've kind of got out of it but we'll see. We'll see how this plays out because I wasn't reading much for June and July but 
I feel like I'm in a big reading mood. So if I can get to Kingdom of Ash, that would be fantastic. Yeah, this is my reread of the series. I'm going to tab and annotate and all that stuff. But yeah, I adore the series so much. This is the Nerdy Ink Dust Jacket. So it's not like this is what the book looks like. And then the original covers are obviously like they, they don't look like this. I adore. I already know that I love this book. So I'm just excited to get to it and reread it and experience it all over again. But yeah, let me know if you guys like this style of video. Also, please vote for how I should name this video. Should I call them reading reset vlog or bookish reset vlog? Let me know what you think um, down in the comments. I would like to hear from you. If you like this kind of video, I can continue to do them. Or if you prefer that I make a separate TBR video, like let me know what you guys want because I'm open for anything. If you made it this far into the video, you can leave a sparkle emoji just because I know I didn't finish completely making my shelves look great, but it's still pretty sparkly. But yeah, I think that's everything that we had on my to-do list that I wanted to do. As far as like cleaning and reset goes, like I still, there's some laundry I need to fold. I've vacuumed the second floor so I just need to vacuum the first floor I need to mop that kind of stuff but yeah that's just like random house stuff that I need to do I also need to finish updating my planner so I want to do that if you did like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel if you do want more content from me I'll have my patreon and instagram linked down below you can follow me there check out my patreon if you're interested and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video but you should come through tonight I'm chilling on the west side oh, Call my home, girl, tell your best friend Cause I do on and on, no location I don't want them singing, getting faded You should come through tonight